Midnight, the coyote down in the mouth. I used to sleep so well, my mother could carry me by the neck scruff without waking me up. Even the dark tasted good with the quiet noise of family around me. And sunrise simply meant I could catch grasshoppers drunk on dew. Of course, I didn't know the roadrunner then, and whatever I wanted seemed nearby and easy. Now, I close my eyes, and he's there, in slow motion, technicolor, all a trot, his heart like a little tom-tom, loud enough to be visible in that bony chest. Come morning, it'll be the same, but hotter, a buzz of shins, the road sizzling like a fuse. Meep. <laughs> Meep. <laughs> I used to believe what I did mattered in some spectacular way. As if a big audience sat somewhere, really watching, really wondering how well I would do out here. At first, I thought it was only a matter of time. I'd put on a bib, pick up some silverware, <laughs> duck behind a cactus, just to ham it up a little. He was mine. I figured a few near misses for suspense, then chomp. The good life, of course. I've been after the roadrunner for so long, I can't tell if it's hunger, love, or just plain stupidity. <laughs> Maybe that's what's so goddamn funny. <laughs> My life whittled down to a riot of wild pursuits and slim chances to grab something I don't even understand. I mean, if I had his speed, I'd get the hell away from here. <laughs> I'd be so gone, even color couldn't catch me. It's crazy. I've died lots of times. Lots. Blown up, bowled over by boulders, run over by trucks. Some days when I'm a thousand feet below the ledge and a thousand more from impact, I stop and look up at that pebble-headed feather duster and touch my chin. Who keeps bringing me back. How can I keep hitting the ground and getting up with nothing but another perfect scheme? It's got to end somewhere, doesn't it? There's got to be some way to... I don't even want to be a coyote anymore. <laughs> Carnivorous, sharpest, toothest. It's not me. It's like my appetite doesn't belong in my belly. Like I'm hungry because someone else wants to eat. Like I'm stuck in this story, no matter how bad I want to get out. And me trying to get out of the story is the story. Of course, I think my life means something. And of course it does. Otherwise, I'd be running around all the time and there'd be no it would seem like my life had been. I mean, who hasn't wondered, right? But if this is not my life, then, who, then what am I doing? And who should I ask? Honestly, if you can just stand still for a minute, you start to see the whole show. I mean, it's all perspective. If you can step out of the action long enough to catch your breath, you become your own audience. And of course, there you are, a scrawny animal, starving in the middle of a desert, squeezing your knife and fork.